Sonyworks are out with their new uh, studio monitor collaboration software. Uh, it's called Reference 4 and they were kind enough to send me a copy and we're going to check it out today. So we're going to do the measurement and then we're going to go through a couple of new features that's coming in this new version. So stay put. So after you have installed everything, you want to start calibrating your system. You need to use this microphone that is from Sonarworks because they have calibrated this microphone and they send with a file that you need uh, to get this so precise as possible. This time they have added a checklist for your setup. Um, have you switched on 48? Yes. Direct monitoring for microphone to speaker is turned off? Yes. Um, single audio interface is used for microphone input and output to speakers. Check. And we are at 44.1. This is a very important one uh, because if you have it at 48, this whole process won't work. So, auto interface sample rate is set to 44.1. Check. Next. So, here is where you add your file. Um, I've already done this, so I can go on. Uh, select the input channel of your measurement microphone. To me, it's this one, this will be different from interface to interface. My interface is uh, Apogee Ensemble, so I choose this one. Check that the signal is coming through. Yeah, and you can see here when I talk, the mic signal is moving. So let's go next. Select output device. Uh, my output is 1 and 2. Usually it is 1 and 2 on in audio interfaces. And then you take play, the test. Please track. adjust amplifier volume. My voice should sound normal conversation volume. Left speaker. Right speaker. Now I just adjusted the volume on my audio interface in the room, so I have the right level. Next. Now it wants me to adjust the microphone sensitivity. So it wants me to put the mic in the listening position. So this is where I keep my listening position. And I'm aiming the microphone just in the middle here between the speakers. Here you can adjust uh, how much time you want before it starts doing the job, so I want just zero seconds. It tells me to decrease the microphone level signal. Test complete. Next. So now I'm going to measure the distance between the speakers. So it wants me to start with this speaker. So I'm putting the microphone to the mid-range mid -range driver and press start. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. Then we'll go next. Uh, now it says that it's 1.35 meters between my speakers. And as always, I like to check this. And it looks like it's on the spot. So it had the length just perfect. Okay, it's great. Let's go on. Locate the listening spot chair. So we're going to put this microphone right where I keep the chair and my ear, so that's about here. Uh, and let's start. Yeah, we're good to go. Next. Now it has uh, measured the dimensions. I know that these are the right dimensions, so I'm going to say it's great. Move on. Uh, I'm going to skip the tutorial. Here we can, it tells you how the process is going to work. But I know the process, I'm going to take it through it. What is important here is to keep the microphone in, at your ear level. So it, it needs to be uh, at the same height as your ears. And I'm just going to try to always keep it at center of between uh, the speakers. Oh, uh, yeah, start. Move the mic and wait in a new position. Okay, so I'm going to move the mic. Now it wants me to go to new position. And 
add another one. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up the process. Now, that was 24 steps um, that I went through. So I did speed up the process because I think you get a hang of it. You don't need to see all this in slow motion. But uh, I always kept the microphone pointing between uh, the monitors. Uh, so at, at a point between the monitors. So uh, if uh, I wanted the mic there, I would like direct it to the middle. Next. So here you can see the curve that Sonomworks uh, find that is problems in my room. Uh, so I'm gonna save this here, save, and I'm gonna call this YouTube test, me uh, test measure, save. And now we can go out of this program. Here is the Sonomworks plugin. Um, as you can see, here you can load your calibration, YouTube test, this is what we just did. Uh, here you see uh, the frequency response in this room, and what Sonomworks is gonna do is compensate this. So when it goes up here, um, Sonomworks is gonna turn that frequency down to get a flat line like this. So the biggest, biggest thing with this version is that they have introduced zero latency and that is something that we have been asking them for a lot of times because we really want to use this plugin and listen for it when we do tracking. So when we're tracking drums, a full band, um, a singer-songwriter, you want to hear what's going on. now. They have fixed it, so we have zero latency. We have other filter types, you have optimum, and here you can see the latency is coming back. And also linear phase. Um, and uh, as always, when you are ready, the mix is done, you want to bounce this out, you need to remember to disable the plugin. You have to turn the calibration off. As you can see in the GoPro camera, uh, my door is open. I have measured everything perfectly earlier and then the door was closed, so it was a clean room and that's how you should do your measurements. To show you this, I needed the door open uh, to fit a light there and obviously Sonyworks is gonna compensate for the open door. If you wanna check out the demo, there's a link below uh, and you can check it out yourself. You really need to have this microphone though uh, to get the best measurement. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.